Okay, we're here stuck in a four bar loop with the marbles controlling the drums as well as the melody. And I promised you that this was what I was going to do. I was going to add some drumming to the melody that you heard in the last video with marbles. Now what controls the whole situation here is this deja vu knob at the top. You notice that both the X and the Y light are flashing and this happens whenever we're stuck in a loop. Now if we swing to the right random combinations of the same pitches and drumming. So it will change over time. It's only that no new uh, pitches will be introduced and to the top where the two of them flash it will hold the loop if we want to introduce more randomness into the both the drumming and the melody as we progressively move it to the left we will get changes by putting it back to the flashing position. Of course you can set the loop length with this knob here. I have it set to about four bars or we can go all the way over here for complete randomness. able to increase the spread of the notes.
Okay, let's briefly document this patch so you can create it too. Right now we're locked in a drum pattern. And basically we have hi-hat, snare, and kick. The patch for making the snare and kick is well documented in the 5U and I put the link to the video below. So basically we're making the kick and the snare on the large 5usynthesizers.com system and as you can see there what we're focusing on is the envelope generators that are triggering them and of course the trigger is coming directly from the marbles module uh, just moving from the uh, eighth of an inch to the quarter of an inch so you can go and uh, watch that video below which is in the description and that video shows you how to make the snare and the kick tones and in that particular video we, trigger, we triggered the sound using the red buttons you see to the left of the LEDs and now they're being tricked from the tripped from the marbles the hi-hat on the other hand is coming from Platts as you can see Platts is in the hi-hat mode which is the analog hi-hat which is the bottom here and the hi-hat sound is controlled using the timber harmonics and morph knobs and I'll just give you a little sample of that. We have it set for the best sounding hi-hat, or at least what I should say is the most realistic sounding hi-hat. Let's show you what happens as we change the settings on the hi-hat. So that the um, morph uh, controls the uh, decay time so that we can go from a closed hi-hat to an open hi-hat. And um, here we have So we sort of can control funky hi-hats, but obviously I had set the settings for the most realistic hi-hat. with your high heart. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.